So over the last two years, I have been working as a Microsoft Dynamics and Power Platform developer and consultant. In this time, I have been experiencing with a ton of different tools and strategies out there, ultimately trying to save myself time. And I have come across three tools in particular that I use regularly, and I can honestly say that they save me time. I mean, as a consultant, saving time is one of the best skills you can have. And I am not afraid to say that I rely pretty heavily on the tools and resources available to me in order to do better work. So in this video, I want to talk you through my my three favorite and free Microsoft Dynamics tools that you can begin using today. And I'll be sure to show you how and when I use these tools as well as point out when I would use a certain tool over the other one and what makes these different tools different from each other. And in the description, I'll be sure to have links to all of these tools so you can download if you want to begin using this tool as well. So the tools I'm walking you through today, two of them are actually just browser extensions and one is a downloadable app that you can download onto your computer for completely free. And ultimately these tools are built to allow you to do and see more when developing Microsoft Dynamics in your current workflow. What do I mean? These tools all allow you to see technical information related to the components in Microsoft Dataverse without having to go and dig through Dataverse or the Power Apps Maker Portal. These tools are going to allow you to see things that are normally hidden for testing functionality. And these tools offer a great way to check your work if you are writing JavaScript or creating a flow. The first one in particular is something that I use every day, if not every hour. This is a browser extension for both Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome, and it is called Level Up for Dynamics 365. And let me tell you, this tool is absolutely amazing. It is as amazing as you could possibly imagine a tool to be. If you are a CE or a Power Apps developer and you do not have Level Up installed, then you are simply missing out. So what does it do? I would maybe rephrase your question and ask, what doesn't it do? But there are two main features that I use every day and I wanted to specifically showcase, and that is going to be the logical names feature as well as the all fields feature in this extension. The logical names button is going to allow you to see the schema names of all of the fields on your form. You may know that the label for a field on a form can be different from that field's actual display name, which can be different from its actual schema name. Because of this, if I need to ever refer to a field in a flow or I'm talking to another developer and want to make sure we are talking about the same field, I can use this to quickly get the schema name of the field that I'm talking about. This way, I don't have to go into the maker portal, find the solution that the form is in, find the form, find the field, find the schema name of that field. Also the all fields feature is a absolute game changer for me, especially if I'm working with something like business rules where something might be happening in the background that I can't specifically see on the form. This feature is going to tell you all of the data points on this record. Also, if you need the names of labels or the name of a lookup record, those OData fields can be found here. This is typically how I get most of my fields when I'm actually building flows, because for me, it just makes sense and it's easiest. These are the main two, like I said, that I use, but you can see that there are tabs of different features in Level Up that you can begin using. You can blur out all the data points on screen if you wanted to take a screenshot without showing the sensitive information. You can clone records for easily testing duplicate detection. You can navigate directly to system jobs running or your solutions in the maker portal or advanced find, which personally, I didn't even know that this feature was there, but I'm kind of kicking myself for it because the amount of time I have wasted navigating to the old interface to then access advanced find, I don't even wanna admit how long I've spent on those loading screens. Now, Level Up has an additional feature that I want to tell you, but I wanna make sure that this is only for Power Apps developers and consultants, so if that does not apply to you, then thank you for watching, you don't need to watch anymore. Okay, so when looking at this piece of Fetch XML for a view, you can see that we're wanting to get records. Okay, so now that it's actually just the developers and consultants here, I also wanted to tell you about the God Mode capability and the Impersonate tab as a part of Level Up. Essentially, God Mode gives you system admin privileges as well as it removes any JavaScript from the form. So 
locked fields become unlocked, hidden fields become visible, required fields are no longer required. Rightfully so, this might be alarming to customers that are using Microsoft Dynamics. So typically we don't you know, publicize that this tool is out there to customers or in demos or anything like that. Now impersonation allows you to impersonate or to role play as any other user in the system. Essentially, you are going to inherit all of their security role privileges, licenses, et cetera. And this is particularly helpful when trying to test security roles. But fair warning, I do not think this should be your only tool used to test security because sometimes with the tool in your browser cache, it can get kind of funky or buggy a little bit. So obviously make sure that you're doing, you know, your due diligence and testing security, but it is still cool to know that this functionality is there and it works. Now, before we go to the next tool, I wanna to tell you about how you can further develop your skills as a Power Platform consultant and developer. I want to personally invite you to sign up for this completely free self-paced course that covers everything you need to know in order to begin today. Not too long ago, I was a complete beginner and I didn't even know what the Microsoft Power Platform was. But in just two years, I have gone from being an associate to a senior level consultant and I can truly say that I love what I do. The content in this course is handpicked to suit you as well as prepare you best for the PL900 if you're looking for a certification as well. If you're interested, be sure to follow the first link in the description down below and do not forget to use code YouTube at checkout to get the course for completely free. This is going to give you immediate access to the entire course and all of its content so that you can begin changing your future today. And the second tool is the Metadata Browser for Dataverse, and this is another browser extension but is only limited to Microsoft Edge. And I gotta be honest, I do not use this as much as Level Up, but this has some really cool tools that Level Up does not have, and so it definitely has a time and a place for when it can be valuable. What this does is it takes your environment URL and allows you to look up any metadata that you need. Just so that I'm clear, I am not saying that you can look up the Dataverse data like all the contacts in your system, for example. I'm saying that you can look at the table properties, the table fields, the option sets, the table relationships of every table in your system. I think the biggest selling point of this extension is one, you can actually download all of this information into a CSV file. And two, the ability to see the choices on the fields on the tables is a pretty big win. It shows you the labels, the values, and the order of the options. Also, you can have the form show the schemas just like level up, but if you ask me, this one is way less visually intrusive and looks a lot better on screen. But if you're like me, you may be thinking, okay, level up already does this, why would I want to use this tool? But you're right in saying that level up will show you the schemas. Level up does not show you the min max values of those records. It does not show you the schema names of the relationships and it doesn't show you all the information related to option sets. As a consultant on Dynamics projects, I find that being able to quickly access this sort of information is super valuable. And getting this information faster is something that I think we could all appreciate. I think the two extensions have their own place, but this one in particular is cool to me because like I said, it allows you to download all of the information for things like documentation or testing components, et cetera. The third and final tool that we are going to be talking about today is something that may cause me to catch a little bit of grief down in the comments, but hey, this is what I currently use and it boosts my workflow and helps me get better work done. Now, I don't use this tool in a way that you would expect, but let's go ahead and see what you think. This tool that I am talking about is Notepad. Or if you're too cool to say you use Notepad, then you can use the prettier Notepad++. I keep the Notepad app on my taskbar, Yes, right next to paint, all right, don't hate. I keep the Notepad app in my taskbar because I find I regularly need to copy and paste a bunch of different schema names or build an expression in Power Automate. Because the current Power Automate designer is less than bad when trying to build expressions in it, so I find that I end up building a lot of fetch XML or expressions in Notepad and then copy and paste them into the Power Automate designer. Now, Notepad++ is actually a lot nicer because this is going to check your syntax 
as you're typing and developing these expressions. If this isn't making sense, then let me just show you. I was recently building a Power Automate flow that would send an email that contained an HTML table of opportunity records. Within that table, I wanted the opportunities name column to actually be a hyperlink to the opportunity record in Dynamics. I use Notepad and Level Up in order to get the OData expression for the opportunity name and ultimately build out the href hyperlink for my flow. So I can take this OData opportunity name column, add it into the correct function that I need, copy and paste that into the expression, and as I said, build out this hyperlink. Then I found out that the HTML table actually messes with the href hyperlink syntax, so I had to create this function in order to fix it. Good luck trying to get the syntax of this expression right in the Power Automate designer. For this reason, I would use Notepad++ to build out this expression and then, again, copy and paste it in there. Using this is by no means a perfect solution and I wish we didn't have to use an app like Notepad, but I have found for me and my workflow that it works and I like it. Also, I don't know if you have begun implementing generative AI and things like Copilot into your current workflow. Now, I get it, using generative AI and Copilot at work can be scary because what if it makes a mistake that you're ultimately responsible for? If that is you, go ahead and check out this video here on the channel. Thank you guys for sticking to end the video. My name is Griffin Lickfeld, the host of Citizen Developer, and I'm excited to connect with you guys in the next one.